Hello friends, in this video we are going to add the banner slider on the home page of Magento. So let's start how we can add the banner slider. There are various extensions that are available in the GitHub and free extensions. Let's check. These are the banner extensions. This is Persh extension. Um, So we are going to use the Mage Plaza. So let's <coughs> let's copy this, go to the terminal. module is installed so let's going to run the commands compile that upgrade Paste this command last second last This is done. <coughs> so let's start the configuration. What it says. <coughs> okay, so let's go to the admin panel. Reload this panel. Go to the stores configuration. Mage Plaza Banner Slider <coughs> Module Information Journal It is enabled Slider Configuration Responsive Yes Save Let's go to the con uh, Where is Manage Banners Manage Sliders Add New Banner Paste one banner enable image. So we are going to add this banner. Banner title URL we don't need. Enable select sliders we don't have. Save banner. <coughs> Go to the sliders. Add new slider. Uh, test enable all store views. Here we need to add all we required. All store views. Uh, home page top of the content or top of the page top of the content okay so this is the block that CMS add this panel slider with this or template file this use this save slider Go to the banner slider, edit, select test we are using, save banner, go to add new more banner, enable image, load, enable, select this, done, save banner. 
these two banners we have added so let's go to the each where is content uh, content uh, we have pages where is home page <coughs> edit go to the content page builder add one more row Elements, button divider, HTML code, HTML code we are going to add it. This is HTML code, save. Save this. Cache clean, flush. Go to home page. Uh, go to the testing page. Go to the home page. I think we have just installed or run the commands. Yeah, we have run the commands, but why it's not showing? Go to the <coughs> content configuration. Configuration we have already said, but it is enabled and everything is there. Um, okay, not responsive. Let's check what's happening. Okay, let's go to the <coughs> this let's edit this. What is the content they are adding? Template file. Let's check add in a PHTML template file whether it is working or not. HTML. We have the templates now. Let's see. Last template we have view front end templates solutions.html. Let's add this. over here let's flush the cache flush now go to the front end let's add solutions underscore it should appear here if the template is working then it should appear here then I think something is wrong something is wrong but wrong console has errors the same origin policy plus facebook chat this issue Annoying. why is it calling it is enabled or display from this It should work. I think something has some issues. Let's comment some of the extensions. Let's go. Ah, code. <coughs> Let's remove this um, image part. We will need. Uh, let's remove all this.
of extinction. Let's run the compilation command. This is done. Let's check. Now check the configurations. Then, then this this extension is not compatible with this. But I think it should compatible. Enable image. Enable panel. Everything is there. Then what's panel, what's left? So let's go to the content. Pages. Uh, home page. Let's add widget. It has the widget, right? So let's check if widget is working or not. Where is widget? widget. Where is widget text buttons divided as channel code media on slider banner? Slider is also there. So slider is not coming. Let's turn. Uh, Delete this. Delete this. Go to add the row. Um, go to the slider. Upload image. So we are going to add the images. Slider add slider load image add slider edit text load image. Save. Save this and go to the front page. It's 
so in magento 2.4.3 you don't need to require to add sliders is automatically added the slider so you can edit the text everything you can just go and check this part so it's better that you know don't need to install the extension for the sliders so this is how magento 2.4 inbuilt slider extension is there so yeah we have successfully add the sliders over here thank you so much for watching this video have a great day